uh, that is uh, delay calculation in EIGRP. If you remember in last class, we discussed about the uh, EIGRP and we did some practicals uh, related to that. Okay. So now the question is that if I'm having some routers like this one, two and three router are there. Okay. And four. Okay. And these routers are connected via cable like this. And this is my source. And this is my destination. Destination. Okay. And let me let me add a loopback interface over this router. Okay. So let us assume this is my router one. This is router number two. Okay. This is router number three. And this one is router number four. Okay. So <coughs> if I talk about the delay in between these router, in between these two links, so you already know that Delay is approximately 100 microsecond, right or not? 100 microsecond. This is the delay in between the router interfaces. So this was this will be 100 micro microsecond. This will also 100 microsecond, 100 microsecond, 100 microsecond, and 100 microsecond. Okay. So this is a delay. 100 microsecond is for 100 Mbps link, right or not? So if I talk about 100 Mbps link, the delay is 100 microsecond, okay? If I talk about the bandwidth, okay? So bandwidth is approx 1 lakh KB per second, okay? This is the bandwidth of a 100 Mbps link, okay? But if I talk about the loopback interface, so let us assume we have a loopback interface that is 10.10.10.10 and so on, okay? The bandwidth and delay for the loopback interface is 5000 microsecond is the delay. And the bandwidth will is approx 80 lakh KB per second. Okay, so this is the bandwidth. Okay. So if I talk about the delay calculation, you know very well if this is the source and this one is the destination. So you will forward a message like this, right or not? The message is the hello message will be forwarded like this. Then this one, R1 will forward to R2 and R2 will forward the update uh, hello message to R1 and then it will be forwarded to the virtual loopback interface, right or not? Right everyone? In response of that, the loopback interface will forward the update message, right or not? The update message will be forwarded like this. So this is how the update messages will be forwarded. The hello messages will hello message will be forwarded like this. Okay, and in response of that, the update message will be forwarded like this because all the information will be forwarded by the help of update message. That is why we will check the bandwidth and delay on the receiving end of the routers. So if I talk about the receiving ends 
so this is the loop back interface okay so first uh, interface first receiving end is this one then another receiving end is this one then the data will be received by the by this interface and then this interface so what can be the maximum what can be the possible delay can anyone tell me what will be the delay just only check the delay on receiving end so what will be the delay now hello just check the receiving end if i talk about router one router one is receiving the data on the interface which is having a delay of 500 5000 microseconds then router 2 is receiving at 100 mic microsecond the next one will be 100 microsecond plus last one will be what 100 microsecond so what will be the total delay that is equal to 5300 microsecond any confusion with delay calculation hello no so if i talk about the bandwidth if i talk about the bandwidth so first of all check the bandwidth of the receiving end so first one is this bandwidth is available at receiving end this bandwidth is available at receiving end this bandwidth is available at receiving end and this bandwidth is also available at receiving end. Just compare all these and let me know which is the least bandwidth. Least bandwidth. So all are same or no? Least bandwidth will be equal to what? So if you will compare that, this is 80 lakh, this is 1 lakh, this is 1 lakh, this is 1 lakh. Mm -hmm. So so the least no. bandwidth will be 1 lakh KB per second, right? So this is how the delay calculation is done, okay? So let's do this practically. Let me open the GNS3, okay? And we'll do the delay calculation practically, okay? So first of all, we will configure configure the routing by the help of EIGRP. Okay. So first of all, I will take some router, one router, two router, three router, and four router. Okay. Let me connect all these by the help of a 100 Mbps cable. FA0 slash 0, FA0 slash 0, FA0 slash 1, FA0 slash Okay. So let me turn on all the devices. Okay, now let's provide the network in between them. Let us assume the network available is 192.168.10.0. This one is 192.168.11.0. And this one is 192.168.12.0, right? And let us assume we have a Loopback interface Okay, loopback interface is what? 9.9.9.9 .9 Okay This one is my loopback interface 
so dear till now any confusion and let me name this one loopback interface one okay loopback interface one okay so let us assume the IP address is available are 192.168.12.1 192.168.12.2 okay 192.168.11.1 and this one is 192.168.11.2 so 192.168.10.1 this one is 192.168.11.2 and last one is loop back interface that is already available there. okay so first of all we will provide the ip address then we will do the routing so let me open all the configuration interface configuring r2 r4 r3 and r1 okay dear so let's start from r1 configuring terminal okay so interface loop back 1 right ip address 192 oh sorry 9.9.9.9 dot and 255.0.0.0 okay so we have just oh sorry okay 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 one interface loop back one ip address is 9.9.9.9 .9 .9 .9, 255.255.255.255 Dear, this must be the subnet mask of all the loopback interfaces. The 255.255.255.255. This must be the subnet mask of the loopback interfaces. Okay. Now, interface. So, interface is F0 slash 0. No shutdown. Okay, IP address 192.168.10.2 and 255.255.255.0, right? Next one is what? So, we have just provided the IP address here. Let's provide the IP address to R2. Configuring terminal interface f0 slash 0 okay no shutdown ip address 192.168.10.1 and 255.255.255.0 okay interface f0 slash 1 no shutdown ip address 192.168.11.2 and 255.255.255.255.0 okay let's go to r3 this router configuring terminal interface f0 slash 1 no shutdown ip address 192.168.11.1 255.255.255.0 right or not okay next interface is interface of 0 slash 0 no shutdown okay. ip address 192.168.12.1255.255.255.0 right let's go to r4 and do the same configuring terminal interface of 0 slash 0 Okay, no shutdown, IP address 192.168.12.2 and 255.255.255.0. Okay, if you want to cross check, so you can put a command do show IP interface free. By this command, you can check the IP address allotted, the loopback one is allotted and 
this one is fast ethernet zero slash zero is also allotted if i go to r2 and put a command do show ip interface interface brief you can check that what ip address we have allotted fa0 slash zero is 10.1 fa0 slash 1 is 11.2 if i want to check r3 to show ip interface brief okay 192.168.12.1192.168.12.1 okay next one is r4 we already have checked that now let's start doing the routing so we will start from R4 router EIGRP1 okay network 192.168.12.0 right 255.255.255. Sorry, 12.0. This is sufficient actually. Okay, so we have in we have advertised one network. Just go to R3 now and we'll do the same router EIGR P1 network 192.168.12.0 190 uh, network 192.168.11.0 okay just advertise both of these networks now go go to R2 and do the same router EIGR P1 network 192.168.11.0 right network 192.168.10.0 okay now let's go to r1 and just repeat the same router eigrp1 Network 192.168.10.0. Okay. Network 9.9.9.9. Okay. So we have just introduced the network here. Advertise the network. Show IP route. Uh, do show IP route. Okay. Okay. So we can see that the network is available okay ip addresses are available just hold on for a second hello okay dear so whenever i will go to r4 and put a command do show ip route okay and i want to check the root for one for what 9.9.9.9 .9 you will see that it is showing all the root possible root in between r uh, this one this is source source is what 192.168.12.2 and this is my destination 9.9.9 .9 .9. you can see that the possible details are available here so what is the delay here everyone what is the delay Hello. 5300. So what like we have calculated the yeah. same delays here. So if I talk about the bandwidth, the bandwidth is 1 lakh KB per second. Right or not? Now the question is that how to check the delay? So there's a command. Just a simple command. Interface F 0 slash 0 
this interface is what f0 slash 0 then pipe section tly uh, pipe uh, okay let me cross check the command pipe section Just hold on for a while. Pipe section. Okay, I think it is capital letters. Uh, the command is correct. Interface F0 slash 0 pipe section TLY. Okay. Okay. Okay, there may be an issue here. The command is correct. Okay, 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 dear, everything is correct. Actually, the the problem is that do show <laughs> do show interface f zero slash zero, then then by. Uh, do show interface f0 slash 0 f0 slash 0 by section dly so this is the command okay i forgot to put do show <laughs> okay so you can see that the bandwidth and delay of the interface is available here okay so this is how you can check the delay and bandwidth of an interface and this must be capital letter. DLY must be the capital letter. Okay. So please put do show here. I forgot to put do show there. Okay. Or show show in privilege mode. Okay. This is how you can check the delay. And if you want to check the delay for loopback interface. So do show interface loopback 1 then pipe section DLY. So you can see that the bandwidth for the loopback interface is what 80 lakh kb per second and delay is 5000 microseconds okay now another problem is that if i put a command do show ip route 9.9.9.9 .9 .9 or whatever so there is something called metric values the route metric is what 161280 what is the route metric route metric is 161280 now the question is that how you can how can you calculate this route metric what how can you calculate this route metric so let's do the calculation over this Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Let's calculate this one also. Yeah. Okay. So if I talk about the route metric, so route metric, route metric is equal to calculated, calculated bandwidth plus calculated delay. So how you can find the calculated bandwidth and calculated delay? So if I talk about the calculated bandwidth B, that is equal to what? B is equal to 10, power, 10 to the power 7 
ओके डिवाइडेड बाय लीस्ट बैंडविड्थ लीस्ट बैंडविड्थ एंड द रिजल्ट मस्ट बी मल्टीप्लाई बाय 256 ओके दैट इज मींस बैंडविड्थ इज इक्वल टू व्हाट टेन टू पावर सेवन टेन टू की पावर सेवन अपॉन में अपॉन लिस्ट बैंडवेड्स लिस्ट बैंडवेड्स एंड दैट इज मल्टीप्लाई बाय टू फिफ्टी सिक्स तो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन कैलकुलेट द बैंडवेड्स ओके सो दिस इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर टू कैलकुलेट द बैंडवेड्स ओके सो इफ आई टॉक अबाउट the least bandwidth so least bandwidth is what for this network the least bandwidth is 1 lakh kb per second right or not 1 lakh kb per second so this is the least bandwidth right or not least bandwidth is what 1 lakh kb per second okay so if i put this in formula that is equal to 10 to power 7 okay divided by divided by 1 2 3 4 5 5 okay 5 and multiply by 256 that will be equal to 100 multiplied by 256 let me put a bracket here okay then it will be better to put a bracket Okay, so that will be two five six zero zero, right or not? So the calculated bandwidth is two five six zero zero. If you will find the delay, so d de delay, it's a calculated delay is d that is equal to what? That is equal to what? Two fifty six total delay. Divide by ten, total delay. Divide by ten, then multiply by two fifty six. So that will be equal to what? What is total delay? Five three zero zero. Divide by ten, and this value must be multiplied by two fifty six. So that is equal to five thirty multiply by two fifty six. So let me calculate this. Five thirty multiply by two fifty six. So that is one three five six eight zero. One three five six eight zero. Okay. So route metric will be equal to what? That is equal to B plus D. Okay. That will be equal to what? Two five six zero zero plus one three five six eight zero. That will be equal to plus two five six zero zero. That is one six one two eight zero. Two eight zero. Okay. So this must be the route matrix for this network. If I will check the route matrix, this is one. This is near. This is same, right or not? One six one two eight zero, right or not? Everyone, please cross check this one. Route metric is what? One six one two eight zero. That is equal to what we have calculated, right? Hello. Right. Right. Now. Let me do some change in this network, okay? Or let me make a new network. Let me delete this network and we'll make a new network and we'll change the bandwidth and delay, okay? So let us assume we have four different router, one, two, three, and four, right? And these are connected via a cable like this. Via cables, F is zero slash zero. 
this one is f a zero slash one okay f a zero slash one this one is f a zero slash zero okay in this case let us assume we have a loopback interface here what a loopback interface is all also connected at the end of the router okay so this is my source this is my source this is my destination right destination okay let us assume the network available are 192.168.10.0 this one is 192.168.11.0 this one is 192.168.13.0 this one is 192.168.12.0 okay the ip addresses available are 192.168.10.1 192.168.10.2 this one will be 192.168.13.2 this one is 192.168.12.2 this one is 192.168.12.1 this one is 192.168.11.2 and next one is 192.168.11.1 okay and the loopback interface is again 9 dot what 9 dot 9 dot 9 dot 9 slash 32 so this is the loopback interface so first of all i will provide all of these details to all the routers okay let me turn on the routers first of all Let me start all the devices and start providing the IP address. Then we will do the routing. Let me close. Okay, R1, R3, R4, and R2. Okay. So let's start from R3. This one is R3. R3 has two IP address. Okay. Configuring terminal interface F0 slash 0. No shutdown. Okay. IP address 192.168.10.1. Okay. 255.255.255.0. Interface F0 slash 1. No shutdown. IP address 192.168.11.1 okay oh 11.2 255.255.255.0 .255 .255 okay let's go to R1 on R1 we will do the same configuring terminal interface F0 zero slash 0 no shutdown okay IP address 192.168.10.2 and 255.255.255.0 okay interface f0 slash 1 no shutdown okay ip address 192.168.13.1255.255.255.0 so we have done on r1 and r3 let's do on r4 Okay, configuring terminal interface F0 slash 1. No shutdown. IP address 192.168.11.2 and 255.255.255.0. Okay, interface F0 slash 0. No shutdown. IP address 192.168.12.1 and 255.255.255.0. Okay. So we have just provided the IP address to these three routers. Let's go to 
R2 the last router on last router we have three IP address so provide all of these configuring terminal interface loop back one right IP address 9.9.9.9 and 255.255.255.255 that's all okay interface f0 slash 1 no shutdown okay IP address 192.168.13.2 and 255.255.255.0 interface f0 slash 0 no shutdown okay IP address 192.168.12.2 and 255.255.255.0 okay so we have just provided the IP address to all of these now let's start providing the let's start doing routing over there okay router EIGRP1 network 192.168.13.0 Okay, 192.168.12.0 and 9.9.9.9. .9 .9 .9. Okay, just go to R1, upper one. Okay, router EIGRP1 network 192.168.10.0 192.168.13.0 okay <coughs> let's go to r3 and we'll do the same router eigrp1 network 192.168.11.0 Okay, 192.168.10.0. And let's do the same on R4. Where is R4? R4 is here. Router EIGRP1 network 192.168.11.0, 192.168.12.0. Okay. So, first of all, I will ask the router number one. So first of all, I will ask router number three that how to reach 9.9.9.9. .9 okay. So I will put a command. This is R3 here. Okay. Exit. Do show IP route 9.9.9.9. .9 what? If I put a command do show IP route 9.9.9.9, .9 the answer is what? What is the answer? Everyone, it is showing that you can opt for both of these paths, right or not? You can choose both of these paths to go to 9.9.9.9, .9 .9, right or not? Do show IP route. So if I talk about the R2, if you want to reach R2 from R3, so it is showing that both of these path is used to forward the data, right or not. In 9.9.9, .9 .9, you can see that it is showing both of these paths. Hello. Hello. Yes, Hello? sir. Yes, yes. It is showing both of these paths. Uh, dear Roosevelt, you can choose any number from 1265536. But for the neighborship, the number must be same. Okay. So if it, you thanks. want to reach 9.9.9, .9 .9, so both of these paths will be used simultaneously. You can see that 
192.168.11.2 that is means this path will be used and this path will be used right now what we will do we will manipulate this path by changing the delay uh, delay or bandwidth of any interface dear if i will increase the delay or bandwidth of this interface what will happen if i will increase the delay then it will automatically select the r4 this path number two this one is path number two and this one is path number one currently r3 is using both path one and path two to reach the destination currently r3 is using both of these paths to get to reach the destination if i will change the bandwidth or delay of any of these interface then it will select only one path that must be the best path so now let's do the manipulation because currently the bandwidth uh, the delay is 100 microsecond for this interface also 100 microsecond and this one is also 100 microsecond right and the bandwidth is what bandwidth is 1 lakh kb per second this one is also 1 lakh kb per second so because bandwidth and delay are same for every single interface so that is why your router is using path 1 and path 2 simultaneously what is the same here these are the testing interface just to check check uh, the bandwidth delay or or other thing okay these are just just to just uh, needed to check that the protocol are working or not these are the virtual interface right these are used for the for the testing purpose on okay okay so what i will do i will change the delay or bandwidth okay if i will increase the delay here let me try to change the delay okay interface f0 slash 1 okay delay 200 i have changed delay to 200 what is delay now 200 so what is the what is the total delay of part 2 if i talk about the path 1 the delay is 5000 plus 100 plus 100 right or not if i talk about delay for part 2 that is 500 plus 100 plus 200 so that is equal to that is equal to what 5200 zero, zero. 5200 zero, zero. this one is what 5300 zero. so which one which path is taking longer time hello which path is taking shorter time or longer and which path is taking shorter time if you will compare these two this is taking longer time this path is taking shorter time so this will be the best path so whenever i will go to the router and will ask show ip route now it is show, uh, do show ip route okay Um, I have a question. Yes, dear. You can see got... that the destination is now has only one best path. Before that, it was having two best paths. For now, it is having one best path on. Okay. So this is how you can change the best path in EIGRP. Yes, dear. Now you can ask the question. Okay. So looking at like, let's use path two, for example. I understand you changed the, de the delay. Yes, dear. For, um, I have for F, I have increased F the zero delay. one. Yes, yeah, you, dear. you you increase F zero one to two hundred, and then yes, the next dear. delay, the next delay is the the, the path to R four, the, the um F zero one. Yes, dear. Okay, I understand because, that. Where, where, where by, do you get the five hundred from? Yes, dear. Five hundred uh, five thousand, dear. 
by That's default 5, okay by default all the all <clears throat> the loopback <clears throat> interface has a delay of 5000 microsecond okay. this uh, uh, yeah, fast yeah. ethernet has a delay of 100 microsecond by default mm, so that is why okay. this is 5300 if i talk gotcha. about that one 100 is here and 100 microsecond is there that is why this one is higher and this one is lower one right so dear this was the last topic of eigrp this and now we will start the ospf from tomorrow okay if you have any confusion with EIGRP, you can ask. Any topic you want to revise. No? Well, I think you cleared it up. For, you cleared it up for me on that. What I, when the question I just asked, I understand it now. Okay, dear. That's perfect. So, from tomorrow, we will start the OSPF and dear. That is really important topic. Okay, so please go through the recording of EIGRP also. Okay, everyone, I will upload the recording. Okay. Okay, uh, anyone has con question? Vikram, Vipin, any confusion? No, sir, got it. Okay, okay, dear. So, I will upload, okay? okay. Is there a link to the recording? Sure, I will upload, okay? Uh, the, the link is same. The link is where? Uh, link is same. On the same folder okay. that I have loaded, I will upload the other videos also. Okay. I lost I lost the link because um my my data got deleted, <laughs> okay, so I okay. don't have the link anymore. Okay, okay. I will tell ma'am to forward the link. Okay. Hey, thank you. Okay, dear. Welcome. Have a nice day. Bye.